plug it into the fast charger and see if it fast charges. Yes. Charging rapidly. Turbo power connected. All right, what I have here is the Moto E5 Plus. And a uh, weird thing happened to it. Not the screen, obviously, is is cracked. But it does still function. Um, what ended up happening was the... Fast charger actually burnt out on me. Uh, I bought a new fast charger. This does work. I bought it and I use it on my other Moto G7 Power. And it does fast charging. So if I plug this in, it won't fast charge. It will charge, but it will charge very slow. I'll show you. Give me a second here. Alright, so as you see, I have it plugged in. And I have it plugged into the uh, turbocharger pack and as you can see it says charging slowly so it will take a charge but it's it only goes slow now also if I unplug it and I plug it into the computer now it will say charging slowly And I don't get the option to connect it to the computer anymore. And then I'll show you the computer. The computer is not recognizing it at all either. So I can't get a connection um, no matter what I do here. It'll just say charging slowly. So, I took a gamble and I bought this. This is a brand new charging port. Um, this was about eight bucks and uh, I can leave a, a link in the description. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this apart. We're gonna replace that part and then hopefully I can connect it to the computer again and then do a factory restore and keep this as a backup phone. Uh, I'm not gonna replace the glass until I know that it's fixed. The glass is about 30 bucks. This part here is about seven and change. So it comes like eight bucks with shipping on Amazon. So uh, yeah, let's see what happens. All right, so make sure you get yourself a, a little mini screwdriver set. Something cheap like this off, you know, from Walmart. Make sure you have your part. And what we're going to do is heat this up, this back half, up with a hair dryer. Once you got it nice and hot, you might have to do it a couple times, depending uh, how good your glue is on your phone. And then just grab your smallest, uh, the smallest fly head you can find. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's a fly head. And then we're just going to try to get underneath this like this. And pry up and then if you have one of them little blue tools you can use that or you can just peel it like I'm doing there we 
There we go. What you don't want to do is what I just did and break the the touch. Obviously, uh, yeah. There is a ribbon cable underneath. But uh, that's all right. I'm not worried about that. So, once you get that down there, we're going to remove all these screws. Obviously, if you paid attention to how I did that, you do it a little nicer where you don't jerk it up, maybe heat it up a lot more uh, right here, these two is where it really caught and then it snapped the ribbon cable but uh that's all right i don't use a fingerprint scanner anyway and i don't think it's actually uh something that i have to worry about functioning <clears throat> remember that this screw here i'll show you that screw there is goes there and then the small screw What I'll do, because I rip that ribbon cable so it doesn't short out, I just won't plug that back in. And then we'll see. We'll see if we get fast charging and the uh, computer operation back. So, now we'll get our new part. And then we'll switch back over to the small flathead. If you look here close, we have a an antenna here that has to come up. So we'll just pop that up. And that antenna here. So you gotta pop both of them those antennas off. There's a ribbon cable right there. And then two screws, which I'll take out now. We have these two screws, we'll dump it, set those aside, I think that's the only thing holding this in, yep, so now we'll take this one out, looks like it has some kind of rubber piece here, I don't know if we can uh, transfer that over to the new part. The new part don't have that rubber piece. Uh, let's see if it comes off. Oh, yeah, it does come off. So we'll transfer that. There we go. And then this should go right back in with no issue.
make sure you get your uh, your antennas out of the way here. That way it can it can rest in its little spot that it wants to be in. see here this lines back up like that so it's the two outside screws not the inside I didn't take notice of that but I was putting them in the wrong spot so I'll try to pop that back out go and we'll put it into the outside screw hole go now we'll snap this little cable back down and then we have to pop back on these uh, antennas These don't force, they'll kind of just click in the spot. If they don't, it means you have them not lined up correctly. They shouldn't take a whole lot of force to get them clicked in. If you're pushing really hard, it means you're probably trying to put it in crooked. So, all right, we have the new part installed. Now we'll put this back on and screw all the screws back down. So if you're trying to put it back on, there is like a little tab right there. It has to go underneath. So let's see if I could cheat. There we go. Obviously you want to put that side in first so you don't have to be prying on it, but that's all right. This is just uh, a spare phone, so we'll see. Hopefully it still works when I'm done. All right, so that's all the screws back in. The new part is in, and the phone still turns on. So we'll go plug it into the computer and see if it works. All right, so back at the computer. We'll plug it in. Yes. The computer recognized it. All right. It says charging slowly, but I bet I have the option now. Yep, I have the options now to transfer files and do whatever I need to do. Um, so now what we'll do, we'll unplug it from the computer. And we'll plug it into the fast charger and see if it fast charges. Yes. 
Charging rapidly. Turbo power connected. Good to go. So that is how you get your Moto E5 Plus to uh, charge rapidly again. It's uh, most likely you're going to have to buy a new power brick if it's shorted out. If you were using a 10 foot cable, I think that was the issue for me is I was using a 10 foot cable and it was just too much power. Uh, and you're going to have to change the charging port. Obviously, when you take it apart, don't do what I did and rip the ribbon cable. But I hope this helps somebody out. Um, trying to figure out why they couldn't fast charge. Or why the computer wasn't recognizing it. It's probably your charging board uh, shorted out. Uh, thanks for watching.